Hello everyone, I'm Dorothy Patterson and welcome to the Comfort Zone. The last time we met, I spoke about how the mindset in my workshop has shifted to the negative and I wanted to find a way, come up with some type of, some type of way we can get back on track. So I decided to explore what a positive mindset is. So I spoke about what a positive mindset and attitude was. I also spoke about the outcomes of a positive attitude. And I also spoke about the benefits of um, a positive attitude. So now that all of that is in play, it's now time to move on to the tips on maintaining, keeping, or achieving a positive mindset. So there are 10 habits that we can do. The first thing I would like to try with my workshop with the group is to keep a gratitude journal. In this journal, each day you will write one thing that you're grateful for. At the end of the week, you will look over the entire week and see exactly what you have accomplished. Number two, reframe your challenges as opportunities for growth. Not to look at every challenge as being negative. Number three, get good at being rejected. It happens to everyone. Number four, use positive words to describe your life. Number five, replace have with get. Example, I have to go to work. Try using, I have to get to go to work. Number six, don't let yourself get dragged down into another people's complaint. Okay, the saying that misery loves company, not necessarily true. Number seven, Breathe consciously, purposefully, and mindfully. Number eight, notice the righteousness and the good in times of tragedy and violence. Number nine, have solutions ready when you're faced with problems. Think them through thoroughly and make a conscious decision on exactly how you're going to face those problems. And finally, number 10, make someone else smile. So with these 10 tips, next time when I come back, I will have a detailed strategy on how to bring some negativity back to my workshop. Thank you.